currently hold the position of president of the Associated Students of Marymount College. Beyond academics, I think there's a social piece that students, I think they figure it out, but I don't know that they know why it's important. These are the people you're going to connect with later on as a professional. And the relationships that you make in college are so important for that. You never know who's going to be the boss somewhere when you go to apply for a job. I do a lot of stuff as president. Um, I, we have weekly meetings that consist of uh, liaising with the other student organizations on campus, uh, helping them put on events by listening to what kind of events they want to do and helping fund them. As a Senate, we all vote and make sure they get the correct funding and make sure it goes in the right directions. Uh, we help them put on events. We put on our own events. We assist with policies on campus, like smoking and parking and all everything from any student student concerns that there are, like the shuttle and. And so in addition to studying and being responsible, I think you need to make good connections with people and put yourself out and, and foster that network of connections that you can use later on to your advantage. In October, the ASMC went into collaboration with the RHA and CAs to put on the annual Harvest Festival. We had pumpkin carving. We had um, a dunking contest, a pie throwing contest. Uh, decorating turkey contest and a lot of different student organizations came um, put it upon themselves to make cupcakes. It's all student organization led so um, we carry on traditions like our Halloween dance that we just had recently, uh, Spring Fling Week and our coffee house and so those are our um, traditions that we like to keep and we're looking to make more traditions at Marymount as Marymount grows. We're raising funds, raising funds to give to certain uh, charities so that was very cool. We got to see a lot of student collaboration. We got to see a couple students get up and sing, which is fantastic as well. And it was a huge turnout. Everyone from the dorms came, and even students from off campus, from the commuters, uh, commuter committee came as well. So it was a really good turnout, and it was a fantastic event. Even the families of uh, faculty and students and um, staff came as well. Well, we learn with one another and through one another and from one another, and so community is, is so important to that. So whether that is community here on this campus or community um, through service or through um, exploration of other areas, even virtual community in some cases, uh, the students who engage and participate in activities tend to not only strengthen their social skills, but also their academics. You know, the more interaction we see between the classroom and um, other activities, I think the, the more well-rounded you get. We have the app on the phone and the, the student life portion of the uh, My Marymount, which gives students up-to-date information about what's going on, any events that are put on, and uh, being able to see that so much clearer and being able to have that information more readily available. Students are constantly being involved and I know so many students are on like three different student organizations. So you get like this really great um, involvement rate of the students and, uh, and especially on involvement day they get to see all the different clubs that are available and we're out there representing and so are all the other clubs and uh, the events as well also bring awareness to these students about the different organizations and it's really easy to get involved in Marymount. Um, they usually have, every semester, they have something called the Involvement Fair, where it's all the clubs and teams on campus actually have a table set out, and you can get information about that, you can sign up, and it's really, really nice. It's just, Marymount wants you to not just like stick to schoolwork, they want you to actually get involved and have fun at the same time, so. We actually have a really easy uh, step process for students to start their own organization. They have like a, a flow chart and if you have an idea, you get an advisor, and you follow these steps of the flow chart. And as ASMC, we, we encourage these new organizations by offering them a $200 startup, or $50 first, and then a $200 later even for t-shirts for their, for their club. So once you follow the steps, you get $50 for like a party for your club. And then to get the word out, you can also have a $200 stipend for t-shirts, which also encourages the students to be more active in their club, and it also spreads the word. I was involved in the Black Student Union last semester, and I started the first ever dance team on campus. It's really, really easy to start your own team and clubs on campus. All you have to do is get um, an advisor to help you out with that and get it approved by ASMC, 
Associated Students of Marymount College, and um, you're good to go. You guys have to host an event at least once a semester, and they're really helpful with that too. So it's a process, but it's a <laughs> it's a really nice process. You know, I think this year we've had a couple new clubs, which is fantastic, like SIF, which is, I think, now in Actis. They, they're doing a lot of things uh, from sustainability. They're doing, uh, they've come up with the idea to put water refilling stations on campus, which is, I think is such a fantastic idea because it really gets the, the word out about sustainability. So we, um, we have a vibrant co-curricular program. I know that um, the uh, student life and service learning staff work closely with faculty to integrate activities um, and learning experiences that will really complement what's going on in the classroom. And uh, that would be one of the hallmarks as well, because that's integrated at every class level and in every program.